We're here at Harrison Delphi Thermal Systems, headquartered in Lockport, New York. Today I had the opportunity to sit down with President Ronald Pirtle. Can you tell us a little bit about how you've come to achieve your current status and position here at Delphi? Sure, uh, Alicia. It's uh, kind of a long story, but I'd sum it up really in a couple of key words. Um, I'd say opportunity, uh, preparation, performance, and grace. Ron, who also gives credit to the civil rights movement of the 1960s for paving the way for minorities in corporate America, says education and a strong work ethic also aided in his success. And preparation from a standpoint of really uh, tremendous educational uh, exposure and uh, accomplishments and then and then and, and then lots of hard work in addition to the education. Having received degrees from both General Motors Institute and Harvard Business School, Ron advises today's youth to continue their education and aim high. You don't have to go to Harvard to do well. What, what's important is that whatever the educational environment you're in uh, is that you you know you make the most out of it you make the most out of it. You work hard, you set high expectations, and you make the most out of it because there's things that can be learned no matter where you are. And I've, uh, I've encountered some folks that, that went to historically black schools that are just outstanding mm -hmm. and are doing really well, uh, really well in the workplace today. And uh, I was fortunate enough, though, to be able to hit some bigger institutions and also do well. And uh, it's been very, very important. Education is really critical and crucial to preparation and being prepared to take advantage of opportunities. Ron admits that running a multi-billion dollar global company forces him to shoulder great responsibilities. Responsibilities he says he couldn't carry out without the help of his coworkers. I have a great team and you know you have to set a plan and a pretty clear path for the company and you have to work with your team and you have to work with people to get things done and uh, we do that. Is there one thing you most enjoy about your job or your position? What really brings you joy? When you, you, or gives you a sense of accomplishment when you go home at night? You know, I think it's just the challenge, really. It's the challenge. It's the challenge. Uh, you know, I, 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 for a long time, I wanted to be uh, a chief executive and run a global business. So I have an opportunity uh, with this assignment. Uh, we are a multi-billion dollar global company uh, all over the world. We've got customers all over the world, some very demanding customers. We've got some very challenging um, business issues to overcome here in Western New York. At times working more than 12 hours a day, Ron says he never forgets to make time for what's dearest to his heart, his family. I have a great family. I have three lovely daughters and a lovely wife and uh, I, I give them as much time as I can and uh, I'm pretty involved in our church here, St. John's Baptist Church and I, I, I try to pick a couple of community projects uh, to get involved in. And, uh, you know, I try to keep my days full and contribute professionally as well as in the family and also in the community to keep things really full and balanced. And what does Ron do for fun? I like to golf, and uh, I'm not a very good golfer. Uh, I don't do it as often as I like, but I really enjoy it, and it's a way of to release, uh, a way for, for me to release uh, frustrations, if you will. And I really enjoy sports. I'm an I'm a, I'm a avid football fan. I enjoy uh, chess and uh, I do those kinds of things and involve myself in those kinds of things uh, as much as I can. As I concluded my interview with Ron, he had a bit of advice for today's up-and-coming entrepreneurs. I think it's important for our, our youth to really understand that there are really tremendous opportunities uh, out there. The key is going to be though you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared and so having uh, a great educational foundation is going to be essential. Without it, uh, you're not going to be able to participate in the future. It, it's just that simple. Uh, so it doesn't have to be in Harvard. It can be. It could be University of Buffalo. It could be Buff State. It could be it, any number of the fine colleges in our country. But we must have uh, an education. Along with an education. Ron says to set high personal standards. I think the key thing to emphasize with that is just to set high standards personally, high standards uh, as, as an individual uh, relative to the education to be the best person that one can be. This is Alicia Woods reporting for Western New York Magazine.